Hello and welcome, this is Reverend Raymond. Welcome to the Chapel of Lord's House of Prayer Intercessory Ministries. I won't let go until you bless me. I won't settle for less. The Bible says it, I believe it, and that settles it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving me the blessings of you today. Today, I'd like you to speak out loud with me as we declare his word. I declare God's incredible blessings over me. I declare I will experience God's faithfulness. I declare I will have grace needed for today. I declare it is not too late to accomplish everything God has placed in my heart. I declare I am grateful for who God is in my life and for what he's done. I de declare a legacy of faith over my life. I declare I will store up blessings for my future generations. I declare that God has a great plan for my life. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I declare I will walk in the blessings of Almighty God. I am filled with wisdom. I make good choices. I have clear direction. I declare I am blessed with creativity, with good ideas, courage, with strength, and ability. I declare I am blessed with God's good health and good family, good relationships of friends, and a long life. I declare I am blessed with promotion, with success, and with obedient heart, with a passive outlook. I declare whatever I put in my hands to prosper and succeed. I will be blessed in the city and blessed in the field. Field. I will be blessed when I go in and when I go out. I declare right now that every negative word and every curse that has ever spoken over me is broken in the name of Jesus. I declare I will lend not borrow. I will be above and not beneath. I declare the negative things that have been in my family, even for generations, I will no longer have any effect on me. I declare from this day forward, I will experience new sense of freedom, a new happiness and a new fulfillment. I declare I am blessed. I declare in the spirit realm, things have been set into motion. Curses have been broken and blessings are on their way. I declare I expect good things to happen. I declare to learn to speak the words of blessings over my children, my wife, my finances, my health, my future on a regular basis. I declare to use my words to declare victory, not defeat. I will see God do amazing things and live abundant, overcoming faith-filled life that has been in store for me. I declare God's nature is forgiving. In Isaiah, his people was disobedient, but he was forgiving and still blessed them. God says in verse 25, The forgiver forgives, he forgives the sin for his sake. The motive for forgiving sin in, is in the heart of God. He forgives not because we deserve it, but out of his sheer love and grace. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving us. And we declare that in the name of Jesus. Yes, we do. We declare that in the name of Jesus. Salvation is from God. Salvation is God-oriented, God-empowered, and should result in pray. The glory to God and God alone. I declare that in the name of Jesus. But our salvation can only come by grace through faith 
because even the best efforts we give to God will fall short. So I declare that I have salvation from God. God remembers our sin no more. The Christian will have many accusers. The devil will come and say, that man is a great sinner. I don't remember it, says God. That man rebelled against thee, says the accuser. I don't remember it, says God. For I have said, I will not remember this sin. The believer's own conscience says, Ah, but the Lord is true. I did not, I did sin against thee, and most grievously. I do not remember it, says God. I said, I will not remember your sins. And I declare that he doesn't remember our sins. And I stand on that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do you see why we celebrate the Lord's Supper? Praise the Lord. Do you see why it, it, indeed it is a picture of love and grace and unmerited favor? In preparing to celebrate the Lord's Supper, it is not only a time to look back and a grateful time for Christ's sacrifice, but it is also a time to look within confession and recommitment to follow him as we prepare to receive the Lord's Supper. He entered into the time of quiet meditation and reflection upon the truth of God's word. If there is anything that we need to confess to God during this time, let us do do so, prepare our hearts. I declare that we will celebrate. I declare of my declaration that Jesus Christ has been given me, forgiven my sins. I declare that I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation, everyone that would believeth. This is my declaration. I declare it. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.